Hey guys, I think what I'm gonna start doing now is for instead of like just like making videos, just like force myself to make a video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the new stuff. I'm only gonna make a video is if there is something on those days that interests me for technology. On Friday, I just I went to like um, late at night trying to find something that interests me. Nothing really. Nothing was really there. It's like same iPhone news, but that kind of gets boring for you guys over a while. You keep on talking about the iPhone every single time, and that's why I didn't make one Friday. Today I have so, I have three or three four stories that make are interesting interested me and think would interest you as well. Fortunately, one of those are iPhone, but those should be over after tomorrow. Just keep on watching to find out. First story today, Microsoft filed a patent for their Kinect that what it does is it uses the 3D tracking used by the Kinect to detect your body dimensions and it can actually tell what age you are based on the information from your body dimensions. Of course there are ways that can go wrong. Me, I've been told I look like I'm 15, I'm actually 19 and stuff like that and it could screw things up for kids that look really young but are actually older and um, what they're thinking about to get used to this is if they, you're watching like rated R uh, content and a little kid walks in, it can detect that kid's there and stop the movie. And then once the kid leaves the room, the movie starts up again. This, most parents, there are parents that would like this, parents that would hate this. There's obviously, I don't, at the first revision of this will not be without bugs. And you're going to have people like me like, why can't I play my video game? Oh, it thinks I'm 13 when I'm actually 19 and it won't let me play my rated M video game. So, uh, there are problems with that, but it's cool technology that they're able to like, look at you and determine what your age is. I'm sure once they get it down, it'll be within a few years, years of age, uh, I would hope, at least, especially in the younger generation. Next story is a new battery, the NTT Okomo, is said to be able to charge within 10 minutes. It's more of a just a slide-on case battery. It's not just like a replacement battery or a phone battery, but just like a it is a phone battery, but it slides on as like a back plate or something. And you can charge this in 10 minutes. And I'm glad this technology is increasing. That's probably not many charge cycles, but if it's something you can replace, then it doesn't matter as much. But if you need, and you're at an airport and you only have like. 10 minutes to charge before your flight, you need your phone charge. To fully charge that battery flight, and then while your flight's going, the external battery could be charging your internal phone battery to give you extra power on the go in a quick amount of time. And I hope this technology increases and gets better efficiency and as such, because sometimes my phone dies and I forget to charge it overnight. And then in the morning time, I was like, crap, my phone's very low in power and I can't do anything about it. So I charge it up, it goes to like 20% before I go to class or something. And then I come back, try and charge it again and get it to a certain point. It's usually uh, low throughout the day versus I can charge the full thing right before I go to class in case I forget to plug it in every night. It's cool technology I hope continues to increase and become more widely available. And the third thing today is uh, the iPhone, if you don't already know, is going to be announced tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, and I'm looking forward to um, look over that on um, Engadget's thing, or many other tech sites will have a uh, live feed listing of what's updating throughout that event at Cupertino, and when I think, based off Gizmodo's I think, um, opinion, is, I think it's pretty right. It's probably going to be called the iPhone 4S, not the iPhone 5. Even though I want want it to be called iPhone 5, not that it really matters. Um, probably won't be two iPhones. It's going to be just the one. Um, definitely going to have your A5 dual-core processor. You're going to have 
I'm sure an 8 megapixel camera, I hope a larger screen, not necessarily going to happen, and stuff like that. Obviously, iOS 5 is going to be announced, it's going to be the big major part of it. Talking about the click wheel iPods, the big 160 gig ones, will not be all around anymore, and they're not going to develop make those anymore, possibly, and then, like, maybe not even a new iPod Touch will be announced, stuff like that. Yeah. Now, just wait till tomorrow to see that. That's all I had to talk about today. Um, if you have any questions, comment below, comment what you think about the iPhone. It's going to be any other story from today. I like seeing your comments. Um, I'm going to start trying to reply them more if I want to reply to them, and like the video. Thumbs up, favorite, what, whatever. And I'll be seeing you on Wednesday.